Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I've got a really good tip for you today as I sit out here on my deck and it's 90 degrees, hot, humid, sunny, but it has me thinking about today's topic and that is how do you fish shade lines? This is something that often goes misunderstood. I think a lot of anglers have an idea as to why they're catching fish around the shade, but they don't necessarily fully understand it. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of break it down from a seasonal approach and how I fish shade lines. So early in the year, say, you know, winter into spring, your shade lines are not necessarily where you wanna be fishing. I like to compare it to us in the winter. Now you guys down south probably don't understand this fully, but uh, you know, up here in the North country, if it's January and you have a nice sunny day, it may be 15 degrees out, but if you're standing in the sun, it'll feel significantly warmer than it is if you're standing in the shade. So relating that back over to bass who are cold blooded creatures and they are trying to find warm temperatures to warm their body during the winter months and the early spring months, those fish a lot of times are gonna head for sunny, sunny water areas. So, you know, or areas that are exposed to the sun. So they're going to be looking for hot, hard objects that are absorbing the sunlight and providing warmth to them. So when you have that, those fish a lot of times will butt right up to that structure. And this really doesn't matter based on, you know, species, whether it's bass, bluegill, most, most freshwater fish in cold water will look for warmer, warmer water. So a lot of times that can only be generated based on sunlight. So the fish aren't necessarily looking for the shade. You may end up catching fish in a shade line. So maybe you pitch to a log and you catch a fish in a, in a shaded area of that log. But in reality, the fish isn't sitting in the shade. They're probably sitting a little deeper, still exposed to the sunlight, but close enough to that log to be absorbing heat that the log is producing. So they're not specifically looking for the shade. A lot of times what you'll see is a fish uh, sitting with their head in the shade line. So their eyes are protected by the, from the sun in the shade, but the rest of their body will actually be sitting exposed to the sunlight. And that's because they're warming their body uh, in the sunlight as well as from the warmth that's being provided by the object that they're next to. So early in the year, when you have cold water temperatures, the shade isn't really your friend. Once you move into the summer months, that's when shade really becomes a very, very good target to fish. So you've got, you know, you've got shaded banks and you've got unshaded banks. The majority of the population would say it's better to fish the shaded banks, but I would argue that you actually don't want to fish the shaded bank. You'd, you're better off fishing the sun exposed bank that has small isolated patches being exposed, uh, being provided by the sunlight that's hitting that direct bank coming off either an overhanging branch or a dock or a lay down or a little patch of lily pads. The fish that are on that bank are going to move to those isolated pieces of cover, which make them easier to target. This is something that I learned from Andy Morgan, who I think is one of the best shallow water fishermen, if not the best shallow water fisherman ever. I was standing in a bag line with him at an event on uh, Hartwell Lake just talking to him and I'm like you know he he told me he was fishing shallow and I said oh you're just you know fishing shade banks and he goes well, no I'm fishing the sun side and the isolated shade targets and he goes it's just easier to to find isolated fish and this this was I think my first or second year on tour I think it was my first year so I mean this was a long time ago and it just was a it was it was an eye-opening thing for me it made total sense but I always Everything you read said fish the shaded banks. But I'm here to tell you guys, you're better off to fish in a sun exposed bank and fish the isolated shade lines that are on that bank. Because what happens is if you fish the shade, the shaded side of a, a shoreline, you know, where you've got shade that comes out 50 feet from the bank, it's kind of like overcast conditions for those fish. They have no reason to be drawn to a specific target. That's when they'll get out and they'll start roaming around and it's better to fish those areas at that point than with a moving bait, you know, whether it's a swim jig or a topwater, because those fish aren't holding on anything specific. 
Whereas if you're on the sun exposed bank, those small shade protected areas will draw fish to it. And that's when you want to fish it with a Texas rig or, you know, something that you can keep in the strike zone for longer because those fish are in those isolated areas. Once you again move back into the fall, you know, the, the early fall, I'd say for sure, you've got your, your shade protected areas and then you know, back into winter, that's when the shade doesn't matter as much. But there's a lot of other reasons that those fish are drawn to it. It's not just specifically uh, in, say, in the summer months because they're, they're looking for cooler water or to get out of the sun. A lot of that just goes back down to the food chain. You know, you've got small bait fish and bluegill that are doing the same thing, and they're being drawn to those shaded areas as well for the same reason. So not only is the bass trying to potentially get out of warmer warmer water temperature or to keep their body temperature from rising, they're moving to those areas because the whole food chain has moved to those areas, which, you know, you follow the food, you follow the bass, you, you find the fish. So guys, it's not as simple as just saying, hey, we're gonna go look for shade lines. And the, you know, the other thing I wanna point out too is anytime you're dealing with shade lines, you've got patterns within itself. So, you know, if you're, if you're running a bunch of different shaded objects, keep an eye out as to where you're getting bit. A lot of times what you'll find is if you're going down a bank you know, that's got 10 docks, 10 overhanging trees, and 10 laydowns, you'll find that those fish are holding to one of those three shade protectant objects. Uh, and a lot of that, again, just goes back down to the food chain. If you've got a dock, you're going down a bank and the docks are you know, all shaded areas, and you're not catching fish on docks, well, the docks might be coming out into deeper water and all your bites may be coming off of uh, overhanging branches and that are right up in a foot of water. And it just has to do with the fish that are using those because there's bait in them. You know, and early in the year, if you've got a mayfly hatch, from a shade line perspective, you almost always find fish under the overhanging branches versus hanging out on, on shade lines on docks. It just has to do with the food chain. So you want to be aware of what's going on but you want to be paying attention as to where you get your bites because if you find that you're getting your bites on certain shade lines you can probably run that pattern all over the lake and start avoiding the objects where you're not getting bit so you can be much more efficient on the water just a simple pattern but yet there's a lot that goes into it guys and you got to realize what time of year it is i hope this was helpful i'll you know from a bait perspective it's really just about fishing objects you know if you're if you're fishing a small object texas rigs are always great if you're fishing uh your top water baits are always great too it seems like it just a lot has to do with what type of bait you can get into those areas so i hope that was helpful guys thanks for watching thanks for tuning in share it on your social media pages hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already i appreciate all of you that are watching on a regular basis new videos with tips and tricks coming out every day thanks for watching guys